Jordan, I think you had two steals and then your first three defense possessions. Just, you know, what was kind of your mindset coming into the game? Uh, really just play as hard as I can on defense. Try to get as many possessions for, our, for my team that I can. And just have fun. You know, playing defense is what we do. And whenever everybody's clicking on the same side, it's Is playing defense fun for you the, when you transferred here? Yeah, it's always been fun. It's always something I've been looking forward to. And it's just something that I've always been like trying to get better at ever since I stepped on campus here. Dalton, not just you individually, but as a team, when you guys get off to a start like that offensively, it's your 15-1 before the first TV timeout. How much does that kind of feed on itself, snowball, just you know, give, give you confidence? Yeah, I mean, uh, when we get out of transition, we love playing. We love playing fast, and we think we're one of the best teams playing fast. So. Every time we uh, get a stop on defense, we're definitely looking up to push it ahead and go get some buckets. So Mike, Ben, Grant, Wes. Jordan, talking about defense, what has led to the improvement? You said you like playing it, but why does it seem like maybe the intensity is different or just the, the way you are on the court seems a little bit different? Uh, Coach, Coach Barnes is one of the best ever to do it. And he's on us every single day about playing as hard as we can, keeping our man in front of us and just doing what we're supposed to do on the defensive end. And whenever you have a coach like that, you're great, just great all the way around, you're going to try to get better every single day. And he's going to make sure you do. Dalton, you really built up the stat sheet in a lot of different areas. Do you feel like this was one of your better overall games, if not your best this season? Uh, I don't know. I really don't care. I just care about the win. But uh, yeah, I just went downhill, tried to find my teammates, or just look for my own shot. And my teammates always knocked down the shot, so shout out to my teammates like JG. Is the six assist part of your adjustment to how people are trying to stop you? Yeah, just uh, focusing on the how the uh, one dribble read the gaps and uh, just spray it out to my uh, shooters, and they all shoot with confidence, every single one of us. So we're all just looking to dish it out when we are attacking the hoop, and we trust uh, to shoot the ball and shoot with confidence. Question for both guys: When you Coaches always say play the game, not the, the score, you know, but when you get up by nearly 30 points in a game, is it human nature? Do you have to sort of fight, you know, not not losing that edge when you got a lead like that? Yeah. I say no, because we go into halftime, when we leave halftime, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. It's just all mental, and just being able to go out there and do what we do, it's, it's no different than how we play in the first half. We just try to do the same thing uh, that we did in the first half, but at times it's, it's difficult and teams adjust and we adjust and we just go out there and play the game last one that we do. Um, yeah, I mean, we uh, never really just focus on the scoreboard. We just go out and just compete and uh, always think the score is 0-0 zero, zero, and just go out and compete and dominate the game. Jordan, is there obviously Barnes praised your defense, but is there a guy in practice that you kind of watch to kind of figure out and get better from at all, or is it just learning from Barnes himself? I say I learn from just about everybody. Everyone has their own specific areas where they're really good at. Like Z and Shaq, they're always good, great pressure on the ball and like great in the gap. So, and just watching film on them is amazing. And then just being able to you know go against them every single day is just really it's it's an honor really because they help you on the offensive end and being able to see what they do and on defense helps you replicate how they play on defense and you try to do the same thing whenever you're on the defense. DK, you only had 27 tonight. For one, is it more fun being playing a more all-around game versus scoring 30 plus, 35? And two, have you had a chance to compare to where you were last year? Take the moment to realize I'm here at Tennessee, an SEC school, under Coach Barnes, and I'm doing all these things. I mean, compared to Kevin Durant, yada, yada, yada. Have you had a chance to realize where your life was then to where it is now? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've definitely uh, tried to take it all in. I mean, coming here, I, only, I knew I had only had one year and I had uh, one year to make an impact, and uh, I can't thank my teammates enough for taking me in and just letting me be who I am and also. Uh, just helping me improve every single day. If uh, I have any questions, they help me. And then also with the coaching staff, we always watch films. So they always uh, make sure, like if I text them for a workout, they'll always help me and stuff like that. So definitely it's real cool to be compared to the person you always looked up to and who you want to play like. So that's cool. And then also, uh, um, I mean, 
scoring 35 school and all, or getting what, six assists and stuff filling out. I like that stuff too, but I only like uh, seeing the win. That's the best part, is going out there and getting a win with my teammates. Um, when LSU had the lead to single digits, was there a certain moment offensively or defensively where you guys made an adjustment, like a, a Ziegler pickoff or a fadeaway that you made? First, um, I'm sorry for running into you. And, uh, <laughs> on the way, I probably went a little too fast. But, uh, At least you made the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> you was going to duck it. Hey, I'm moving too fast. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's just really big plays by Z and Santi on the defensive end, and just being able to get out on the transition, like DK said. Getting out of transition is it's really fun with us. You know, we'd be able to get out of transition and get buckets. And whenever we're like that, everyone's just moving with confidence. And we're really good whenever everyone has their confidence. And it's really hard to stop us. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, just uh, when they cut the lead in, we definitely had to make sure we uh, tighten up and be very detailed and make sure uh, they, they were getting a lot of second chance points. So we made sure just to hit the backboard and rebound the basketball. For either of you guys, Coach McMahon said you guys are tremendous at screening off the ball. Uh, what makes you guys so good at screening off the ball and getting open that's different than other teams? For either? Um, we just practice that every single day. I mean, uh, if you screen, uh, get your your teammate open, but not only it also helps you get yourself open. So uh, we know we got great, fantastic uh, players out on this floor, and if we can get them open and let them do what they do. It's perfect for all of us. For either of you. On the floor, these last two games, I know Rick's talked about his demeanor changing and whatnot. But from a basketball perspective, X's and O's, what's been different for him these last two games? I say he's just being himself. Um, he's sharing the ball. He's playing really well, shooting the basketball with confidence, and really distributing the ball throughout everybody. You know, it's just amazing to see him out there playing with extreme confidence. Whenever he's playing out there with extreme confidence, it pours into everybody else. Everyone else is playing with free flowing, free confidence, and just playing with themselves. Anything else? All right, thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.